Now that we have our cross-section start seed file created, we can make a copy of that, paste it, and rename. Let's go ahead now and open that file. With the file open and the workflow selected for the drawing production, in the name boundary we want to pick the cross-section, civil cross-section tab. Our detail scale is going to be 1 to 100. Our name, we can put in something like A1XS if that's what works. And then for our start and stop location, this is kind of a an important aspect that we only want to put in one cross-section location. So if I'm doing metric, I can come over here and pick my alignment and begin to navigate and so let's say that I put in a start location of, of 10, then I would need to repeat that. This is very important. A stop location also of 10. And these defaults here are shown for a metric A1 sheet. So we'll go ahead and put in the name there, A1XS. And when you pick your alignment, it may go ahead and populate your alignment name in here. I like to typically keep that the name of the sheet size and what it is I'm producing for the name here as a default. Then we have our start and stop location, making sure that that is a singular station, not a range. And then for the A1 cross-section sheet at a 1 to 100 scale, a minus and plus 35 meters, a total of 70 meters in width, and typically a, a spacing here of metric cross sections. We're going to use 20, for example, with an exaggeration of 2. And then a top clearance allows for additional annotation above the uh, graphical line work, so that's why we have that in there. And then for the bottom clearance, that just lifts the line work up above the bottom of the grid a little bit and then typically this is represents the interval of our vertical axis. And so what we'll do here is go ahead and make sure that create drawing is on along with show dialog and we will accept the placement of this boundary, accept it and allow it to open our cross-section create drawing dialog. Our discipline again will be civil and we're going to be in a section view here, cross sections. We'll set our scale here of 1 to 100 and our annotation group for cross sections which is going to be drawing our grid needs to be set and then for our drawing seed model that should be set by our variables and the same with our sheet seed model then we want to make sure that our detail scale matches up and we can leave everything else with the defaults. And then lastly before we select OK, make sure that you verify that your name field here in your create drawing is changed from the default of the station value 10 to the actual sheet and what you're creating because that will get reset and then go ahead then and select OK. And what this is going to do is going to create one window for one cross-section and then the software is intelligent enough to add as many other cross-sections per sheet that it can fit on here. So we want to go over here to our drawing mode and place our boundary. So we will load our cross-section border cell select this title block and place it. Close. And then we want to go over here to our attachment tools and we're going to move this reference. Now here I don't have anything to snap to so you can if you want to use Civil AccuDraw and, and snap for example to the midpoint and drop that down. Um, or you can approximate it, doesn't really matter, whatever uh, you want to do there. 
Uh, just give yourself a little bit of buffer there at the bottom. Place that, move it to that location. Then we want to go ahead and move our identifier for our boundary over, reset our corners. Once you have that moved, let's go ahead then and check our model properties. So select your model, go to your properties. This annotation scale should be set at 1 to 1 with your design and paper scale 1. Propagation on and line style scale set to annotation scale. You should have a sheet size here of the ISO A1 for metric. and This is going to be uh, ANSI D for imperial for full size. So those are those settings. And then the other thing I like to take a look at here uh, before I go over to the drawing model is select the name boundary. Uh, you can go ahead and change the level of the name boundary here if you want to. Uh, for example to the uh, draft name boundary and um, the detail scale then on the model uh, is going to be 1 to 100 and you'll see the identifier there and also check the display style make that set to wireframe. Now we can jump over to our drawing model and again on our drawing model properties you will see the settings I'm using here again the 100 scale one on the paper scale and then on the model properties itself on the boundary properties there's really not anything here um, you're going to be able to or need to adjust but just to show you it's all going to be read only and then if you expand down to the cross section you do get some additional properties here and a couple things that you want to check in the clip volume settings make sure that your settings look like this that you're using cut display and on your cut display style you want to set that to wire frame it's kind of important uh, make sure for example your like your line weights are on your line styles are on uh, some of the basic uh, entries there and then you'll see the clip volume settings and then the base uh, display style is wireframe. Once those changes are in place, go ahead and save those say settings. Jump back to your default, and then in your default, I typically like to go ahead then and make sure that in your model that you go back to your 3D model. That's important uh, that you leave it in this state. So we'll save those settings and then that completes the creation of a cross-section sheets definition file that will produce cross-sections from your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.